Welch, British Rally Cross Grand Prix winner of 1985, fastest in the qualifying yesterday in his sensational, and that is the right word, X-Track Ford Escort, four-wheel drive, 1860cc turbocharged, 550 horsepower, very much the favourite to win today. But here in this heat, he has got to beat the man alongside him, Pekka Rantanen, who is a comparatively unknown Finnish driver in the Porsche alongside him, but very quick indeed. But that is the undoubted danger man for Welch, because it is Ole Arneson in the 20-valve five-cylinder Audi Quattro, and he is the double European Rallycross champion, the man who won the British Grand Prix in 1983, and he is spectacular, to say the least of it. Welch versus Arneson, with Pekka Rantanen in between them. Behind them, Francois Monton, the Belgian champion, in another 20-valve Audi Quattro, and Seppo Nittimaki in another of the X-Track Ford Escorts. But watch Welch when he gets away. These cars will get from 0 to 60 miles an hour in two and a half seconds. Welch, Rantanen, Arneson on the right. Arneson's got a better get away than Welch, but Welch gets the power down and leads into Paddock onto the drop down, tumble down hill, and he's got a big advantage. Pekka Rantanen is in second place. Arneson is right back. Arneson has slid wide on the right-hander. Welch gets it almost sideways. There's Arneson down in about fifth position as they go up Halewood Hill. So, as they peel out to try and get an advantage at Druids Hill Bend, it's Seppo Nittimaki is up into second place. So, the two Ford Escort extracts of Welch and Nittimaki, number 10, lead across the line at the end of the first half lap. Two full laps still to go. Here is the British Grand Prix winner of 1985. Comes from Fleet. He's had a tremendously successful season. Has John Welch. There is Seppo Nittimaki in second place. There is the Porsche of Pekka Rantanen in third place as they go into the chicane. Welch through. Rantanen is closing up on Nittimaki. And spinning off all together goes Terja Ski in the escort. There he is, stationary selecting a gear but Welch now with a clear circuit in front of him with a tremendous psychological and practical advantage goes through the S's for the second time there is the second Ford Escort extract of number 10 Seppo Nittimaki the man who won the Lydon International this year fifth in the European Championship this year but Welch leads across the knife edge Still got a full lap to go. Ole Arneson has stopped. Ole Arneson, the European champion of 1985, has stopped. And John Welch, the Welsh champion of 1986, the Southern champion of 1986, the national champion of 1986, and the British champion of 1986, leads his heat, looking in good form for a definite place amongst the fastest nine to qualify for the British Grand Prix final. Seppo Nittimaki is actually closing up a bit on Welch as they go into Paddock and tumble downhill. Rantanen still in third place. Monton has closed up in the Audi Quattro, is in fourth place. But now Seppo Nittimaki is on a terrific charge. This is the last half lap. Welch leads up to Druids. Nittimaki challenging, Rantanen still behind them. And it looks to me as though Welch has got a puncture in the left rear. I'm sure Welch has got a puncture, but Nittimaki leads across the knife edge. Nittimaki is going to win this last race in the second heat. Welch finishes in second place, just ahead of Rantanen. And I am sure that the reason for John Welch dropping back is that he has punctured his left rear tyre. Yes, there's confirmation. No air at all and the cover practically coming off the rim. So